playing Unilath in Stoke-on-Trent and I've got a gentleman you have to meet because he is in love with these machines that he's working on. We've got two horizontal Kitamuras here, one's a 630 and one's a 500, but this is Lewis here. Hiya. So Lewis, here at Unilade, you're working on quite a few of the Kitamuras. What do you like about these machines? A lot of things. The main things are speed. The speed's incredible. It's, it's scary is the best way to explain it. <laughs> scary. Like, that, that's, that's the best way I could explain it. It's scary. When so I when you first them. came here, you've worked, you've worked on other machines and these kind of blew you away? Frightened me, yeah. At first, obviously, I joined here three years ago and when I went on them, I've never seen anything like it, it's the best way to say it. They're just the speed of the rapid and everything is just incredible on them. And you've worked on the older Kitamuras yes. as well, but you still, this impresses you. Yeah, this, that, the old one's fast, but this just blows out of the water completely. Really? Yeah. And what materials, because we've got some parts here, what materials and industries are you serving? Uh, agricultural mainly for the Kitamuras we run. Uh, the material's cast iron, just tears through it. Really? It doesn't even... Don't even bat an eyelid at it, that's the best way to explain it. Just and these are production it. machines, so you've got a lot of similar parts going on them, or yes. are they very, ver like, uh, is there very, a high variety? Very versatile, you could chuck basically each job's on any of the kit and more, they'd all just interchange with each other, no problem, without an issue. Okay, and let's go and have a look at the tool carousel, because I know that the tool carousel, you like how fast the tool changes on this machine. Yeah, like I said, the tool carousel, the tool changes are completely fast, it's perfect for production jobs. You want accuracy, you want speed. You've got both of them with this machine. And tool probing, what do you like about that? It's just consistent. You know you know that the first job is going to be the same as the last. As long as you keep an eye on everything, your first job is going to be the same as the last because you're probing up your datums on every single job. And do you have turned parts that will then get put onto here? Yes, that's correct. So how does that synchronise and how does that work with the probing? Well, obviously, turned parts are working to a tolerance themselves. So if we didn't probe the jobs, we can't always guarantee it's going to be the same every time. We're probing the jobs, we're knowing exactly where that part is and what tolerances that part's been turned to. So when they go on our machine, we should do it accurately as well with the probing. Perfect. And, and let's get into this machine now as well. So um, ease of access. Yeah, very close, very easy. What do you call this area? It's quite... What Lo load, loading bay, it's quite... It's snorkel, that's the best way to explain it. It's just dead nice, dead simple, dead ease of access. Everything turns very easily, everything's smooth. It's just a lovely machine to work on, basically. Okay, and it's twin pallet, so how does the twin pallet help you? Twin pallet, well, we can run two different jobs at the same time, is the best way to explain it. Two different production jobs, you get double the amount of work, basically. How easy is it, as an operator, to be able to use this? It's probably the easiest machine I've been on, by far. Everything's so simple, it sort of explains everything to you. It baby steps you through it, is the best way I can explain it which just makes it easier for everyone, whether you're experienced for 20 years of an engineer or you've done three years like me, basically. It helps everyone. And the touch screen, and there's something else that you like about this setting as well. So, the touch screen's lovely. The main thing I like is, it's got like a PC keyboard. It's just so much easier for typing things in and so much faster. Everyone's got a knowledge of how a keyboard works, so it's just simple to type in like a normal keyboard. Everything's just like I said, ease of use. It's the best way to explain you it. Uh, by the sounds of this, you wouldn't want to go on another machine. No, no, I really wouldn't. <laughs> Honestly, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm on these ones all the time. Yeah, I love exactly. them so much. But yeah, the brilliant machines. So is there any other features that you like about the machines that we haven't covered? Well, for, especially for the production jobs, we have tool life systems in the machine. So that sort of counts how many jobs a tool's done. Very helpful production when you're using a lot of tools in some of these jobs. So once you've hit your tool life, brings it to the door automatically, it's all a part of the system. Change a tool, reset it, goes again. Obviously it's just it's just a helping hand basically. So maybe you so are you telling me that you might work out the tool life for like ten pallets or ten jobs or something for like that? For ten jobs basically. You, you you'd work it out beforehand, then you set a tool life for ten that 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 face mill, for example, can do ten jobs. And obviously it's only a rough, because anything can happen in engineering. Yeah. But Nine times out of ten, it's going to be happy doing them ten jobs, and when it gets to there, you change them, away it goes to another ten. It's just speed, speed and ease of use, like I keep saying, and that's the best way I can describe these machines. Making your life a lot easier. Without a doubt, without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. There you go, you've met him at Lewis, and you've just seen uh, some of the latest Kitamura horizontal twin pallet machines that are sold from Dugard.